Making the element tabs of your poster. So instead of starting on the front of your poster today, we're going to be using the tracer that I'm going to provide for you and working on the back side of your poster. So you'll flip it over um, to the part that you have your two side flaps that open up and on the folds that are going side to side, you're going to mark with a little location dot on both edges of the fold directly on the fold. And then you're going to use the tracer that I'm giving you to line up and make a nice pencil line directly on the fold so we can locate where to cut these. Once you're done making all the lines, carefully cut a nice straight line from the edge to the folded area, which would be the front of your poster. These are going to be the label tabs and the note tabs that'll be behind your poster. Now you're gonna open up one of the flaps and you're gonna put the edge of your tracer on the fold and you're gonna hold that still as you lift from underneath, pressing against the edge to make a fold the width of your tracer. Notice the tab that's making the label tab a little wider from the edge of your poster so you can label it. And then just do the same thing for each tab. So you're making a new fold that's the width of your spacer. Then I, it's easier for me just to turn the poster around to do the other side the same way. Notice your flaps are no longer touching each other in the middle of the poster. There's a wider space in between them. So now flip it over to the front and you're gonna trace over all the folds to separate the label tabs from the actual front of your poster with a nice straight pencil line. And now you're going to start your labels. So turn your poster over. The title section should be on the left-hand side. Locate the center and write the word line in all capital letters, all the same height in the same space in between from the center of the word to the beginning and to the end. So line is the first one that is sharing the title section area. Then the next one will be color, starting with the L in the middle, the O on both sides, and then the R at the end, and the C in front for the beginning. The next element is shape. So you're starting with the A right through the center point. Then the P and the E. And then go back and do the H and the S in the beginning. Then make sure with texture that you're not making your letters too wide or too far apart from each other. <clears throat> so you start with the second T and then you finish the word. And then you go back to do the beginning. Notice all the heights of all the capital letters should match in height and space in between. Now flip your poster over. This time we're going to start on the right side. The same section as the title section gets another word line.
Then you're going to move to the left, find the middle, and this will be value. So actually you're starting, oops, I meant to start with the L, so I'm going to have to erase that. And the L goes in the middle of value. Then to the left of that will be the element form. And then the very left side will be the element space, starting with the A in the center. Again, make sure all of your letters are the same height and there's equal spacing between all of your letters so the words look like one word, not two separate words next to each other. Then the very last step is to take your fine tip Sharpie marker and with a nice smooth line, go over all of your labels for the different elements. If you're done and there's any pencil showing, just erase the pencil completely away.